So <laughs> porn star, he rented out the magazines, like oh for God. like a book of stamps. You got to keep the magazine and it had maybe 50 or 60 pictures or whatever. You got to keep it for like a week, you know, you romance her, you know, for you have like a, you have like a, a nice little week. You know what's so funny in the in, it's like in the low, I saw like <laughs> I seen guys. This is funny. Like I saw as much if not more. There was more stuff in the low happening, like fights and stuff, than there really was in the medium. If there was a fight, it was serious. Like somebody got seriously hurt. Yes, there wasn't a lot of fights at no. Coleman Medium. No, but there was the, not in the low. There were fights, but like nobody ever like got seriously hurt. But like there's there's guys getting cut with razors. There's guys at getting, the low. There was a guy called, they called him, uh, well, there was two guys. I'll tell you. One guy was called Porn Star. They, they, and the COs called him Porn Star, which I thought was I hilarious. Was, I think that that's the classic. It's a good name. When, when the COs call you by your yeah, that's prison re- name. You know what that you is? You graduate. You're, that, you're, you're elite. That's respect. That's right. Right. That's right. So the COs are like, Porn Star. What's up with it here? Well, what you need? What, man? What you need? I'm just minding my own business here. Porn star had his neck fused. Okay. Like he was no porn star. It was not because he was <laughs> a formerly a porn star. Okay? Right. This guy was like five foot three, had his neck fused, walked around like this all the time. What, what, what? And they would call him porn star because he had all the nudie mags. Good for him. So he, so you get like nudie magazines and the guys will get like a real, maybe a real, you know, they got some. They got extremely explicit porn, uh, right. p- uh, porn mags, and then they make copies of them. Well, they ta- they put tape over them, so the guys, you know, take or them in the shower, take them in the shower, or and if they if can get them wet, and if something happens, yeah, they, they can, can wipe it off. Right. So reusable, right. recycle. Go right. Ahead. So porn star, he rented out the magazines, like oh for God. like a book of stamps. You got to keep the magazine, and it had maybe fifty or sixty pictures or whatever. You got to keep it for like a week. You know, you romance her. You know, for you have like a, you have like a, a nice little week. You know, what I'm saying? me and my girl. So some of them girls you fall in love with, but go yeah. ahead. And then, um, and then there was a guy they called. His name was Truck. So Truck rented. Um, urban, urban, uh, um, novels, uh, urban novels. So one day truck rented an urban novel for whatever it was like, it was it literally, it's like, like for like $3 or, you know, six stamps or something. You get to right. keep it for a week. You could read it in a week. So like a week went by and he had a little ledger and he comes to the guy's thing and said, Hey man, it's supposed to return that book yesterday. And the guy was like, I know, man, I let my boy, um, borrow it he he uh he packed out or he lost it or he got whatever got to tell you he's like nah man he's like that that that's that book's that's 15 bucks you owe me 15 dollars he's like man that thing that thing's been around forever you got your use out of that thing man that thing's old I, you had that for you he's like what are you talking i gotta replace it it's 15 bucks man I, I, and they start arguing basically finally the guy the truck was little Finally, he he's like, ah, go fuck, fuck off. You ain't going to fucking do nothing. Fuck you. And he's like, truck goes, all right. Walks back to his uh, his cell. Gets a lock. Gets his uh, whatever, maybe his belt or a, a, a you know, a, a, a sock. Ties it up. Ties it around his thing. Get, puts it in his hand. He's got himself a little bit of length. Walks in there. Guy's laying in bed. Not even thinking anything of it. Walks up. Whack, whack, whack. And I mean, that dude yanks him off the bed, beats, listen, blood everywhere in, inside this little cell. These cells are small. Like, and there's blood on the wall. I mean, he, that, you could hear that dude screaming and hollering. That guy climbed. Oh, they were, they were, you know, they were like um, cubicles. Right. So the wall doesn't go all the way to the top. It goes up about five feet. This guy literally, he couldn't get out because truck was in the way of the exit so he jumps up and jumps over the wall blood everywhere truck was also about to go to um camp no he did go to a camp by the way too because i remember after the whole thing like i hear the screaming and everything you see the guy running off i mean he's got welts and cuts all over because you know a lock will mess you up you get these little these little circular uh cuts all over your body yes he takes off running um anyway i don't know 
I want to say that guy because I remember the guy's whole eye was red. His whole one of his whole the entire eye was just bloodshot red. Cut. Like he hung out for a couple days. We saw him around, like in the in the unit, like trying to stay stay away from the CEOs. Eventually, they grabbed him, and I kept thinking, "Well, they grabbed him. They're gonna get. They're gonna get. They're gonna look at the cameras. They're gonna." But half right. them cameras don't even work. No, the, or, or the someone's. Stage. Yeah, or well, someone's they, they, gonna, they got the the, the two legged camera. Right, the, or so, one of the inmates is gonna tell on them. And look at the at the it was not at the medium. You could do something like that and not have it catch up with you. Literally at the low, it's catching up to you within hours. That's that bad. Wow. N- never caught up with him. He actually, like two weeks later, he was put on a bus and he went to a camp. The, and the other guy got grabbed and put to the shoe. Never said anything. And wow. I but I remember going to like a couple days later, I went up the truck and I go, bro, what are you doing? He's like, what? I go, you're going to a camp. They just put you in for a camp. He's like, man, dude disrespected me, man. You heard how he, I can't let him talk to me like that. I said, what do you give a shit how he talks to you? You're going to a camp. He said, I don't care. I don't care. You ain't nobody talking to me like that. I was like, all right. You know, well, <laughs> like I'd truck keep the laid, book. Truck laid, but keep the book. Truck's a laid back guy, but yeah. he's like, I'm not going to take yeah. that. And you know what's funny? Like when he packed out, like he couldn't take half the books he had. You're losing half the books you got anyway. What are you doing? <laughs> They only, you know, when you pack out, they only let you, you can take 10 bucks. You can take four socks. You can take, like, you can only take so much stuff. So he couldn't even take half. He's got a hundred bucks. What are you going to do? Well, You're he, leaving. Didn't, he didn't have any consequences. So he, yeah, like, he, of yeah, course, he, didn't like, know. He, he wouldn't have known the consequence of that. So, yeah, but these guys, they get, you know, they, they have that whole respect to that mentality. Men- yeah. Yeah. But, but like, sometimes it can get out of hand. There are certain things that, come on, Matt, you, you got into it in a TV room about hey, we're changing. <laughs> that was. <laughs> I was never gonna do certain, anything. I know, though. but there's certain limits.